That's human shit. Oh, there's pigeons living in one of those. Every car here's like abandoned and burnt out. This part here is by far the worst part. Violent riots against the police, isolated in Clichy Soubois, that end up after three weeks spreading throughout the entire Paris. But this was the center of it. I'm Spanian. I was raised in the housing areas of Sydney City. Spent most of my youth and adult life in prison. And after a total of 13 years, I'm free and living my best life. And I'm out and about, flying around, sussing out the hoods all over the world. It's Oge. Alright, we're back with Into the Hood. Listen, I'm in the middle of Paris right now. It's my last day here. Heard about this suburb. Legit, the poorest part of Paris. It's deep in the eastern suburbs. It's actually so deep, it's on the outskirts of, of the city, of Paris itself. Right on the eastern edge of Paris, right in the middle of nowhere. We gotta catch a train, then catch a bus, then walk for 15 minutes to get there. It's called Clichy Soubois. This place, like I said, it's a suburb of towers. Worst looked after place in Paris. The highest unemployment rate. Very known for youth crime. This incident happened where two kids died in a police chase. It kicked off riots that lasted for three weeks. Violent riots against the police. Isolated in Clichy Soubois that end up after three weeks spreading throughout the entire Paris. But this was the center of it. Very notorious place. Type of place you need um, permission to film and a guide to take you around the flats there. And old Anjos, you know, you know what we do. We just rock up by ourselves sneaking around with a GoPro. <laughs> if I knew someone in Clichy Soubois, well then I would um, get a guide, wouldn't I? But I don't. But that, that's never stopped us, has it? <laughs> I want to see what it's like traveling from the middle of the city that we all know. Such a beautiful city, isn't it? Traveling in the middle of the city and how we get there. It's part of the experience. Where's this train station? It's not even on this map. That's a map of like the inner, inner city, I'm pretty sure. It's all the way out here. Man, not that far. <laughs> I think we're catching RB. R-E-R-B. The thing I'm a bit concerned about is I don't know how to get bus tickets. <sighs> you can't pay for bus tickets on it, I heard. You have to get the tickets beforehand. I don't know, mate. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna pull the bus over, jump on with my bank card, try to tap something. If I can't, then we're walking. <laughs> the closest station is somewhere called Alvary Samwa, Subwa, Alvary Subwa. So it might end up that we're walking from there half an hour. I'll tell you why I'm worried with this one, because it's not a hood in the city, all right? It's not a hood in the city, like being a tourist, all right, if there's a bad part of the city, you walk down the wrong lane, you walk down the wrong street, okay? You're sort of like, you get kicked out, right? So people come and kick you out of there. You can sort of just walk a couple streets away. I am on the outskirts, like, if when I looked at the map, behind this suburb is like forest. I'm, I'm out, outskirts. So if I get surrounded and kicked out for filming, <laughs> I think it's gonna be like an awkward standoff where I'm at their bus stop and I'm just waiting for their bus for half an hour and they'll probably be swearing at me like go wait at another bus stop you idiot and I'll be like yeah sorry <laughs> we'll just walk in the forest if that happens this is where we're going all nice and all right so that's this is the inner city that's the outskirts so we're going on this B to Olney Saint-Bois, and then we're catching a bus down here somewhere. There it is there. Clichy Saint-Bois. There's actually a tram that goes there. This yellow track, actually, that yellow is, pretty sure that yellow's a tram, but my Apple Maps are telling me to catch a bus. Oh, whatever, at least we've got two options. Oh, look, ticket T plus. Full fare. Journey. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just get eight just to be care just to be safe. Validate. Oh, we got a. Did you see that? 
T plus. Use it on anything, apparently. Oh, what the hell? It gave me 10, 10 tickets. It, it gave me 10 individual, or oh, eight tickets. <laughs> you could give me one that you could just like, has fares on it. Oh, all right, let's go. To catch this bus, let me get my phone now, work this out. It was about half an hour on the train. So we're 4.4 kilometers away from here. And the bus is 6.13, 6.13. 613, there it is there. Well, do I use this somehow? I hope I caught it the right way. Now thinking of it, could have been 613 the other way. <laughs> I just caught the first one. <laughs> see exactly where we are in respect to this we are here we need to get through these housings here cross to the next main road we need to be here where i'm going to drop this pin there where that red pin is 17 minute walk okay you know what i just seen even in apple maps i'm in apple maps right now you type in cliche subwa and look what it says about it here look Let's read this. What this says is, Clichy Soubwa, French pronunciation, is a commune in the eastern suburbs of Paris, France. The vast majority of its population is made up of African heritage, and the BBC described it as France's most notorious immigrant ban, ban -lules. I don't know what that means, but let's just say neighborhood. It's in this city that the 2005 riot started. Clichy Soubwa is not served by any motorway or major road and no railway and therefore remains the most isolated of the suburbs in Paris. That's in Apple Maps. <laughs> That's Apple Maps description. That's, this is what makes me so worried. It's just so isolated. It's just so isolated. Hopefully I'm walking the right way. Even this part, you can tell, all government housing, even in here, big estates. Either side of us now, it's just complete government housing. You see a massive tower over there in the background? I think this is the point where we start getting a little bit secret -y. <laughs> Just thought I'll check you out. That cul-de-sac, that's only on the way. Some local shops. I heard there's shops. There's a bunch of old blokes at the front. I don't think you understand how difficult this is gonna be for me. I just got a coffee as a throw off then. I walk through the middle of the shops. I put the camera away. Everyone, everyone was staring at me. I stand out so much. It's so bad. It makes this, shooting this. 
It makes shooting this so difficult, man. <laughs> I get stared at. I'm just so clearly an outsider. It's it's bad. So I've got this coffee as sort of like a distraction. So if people look at me, it's just like, yeah, look at me. I'm just like you drinking coffee. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, their parking here is very secure. Look at all these flats, bro. Their parking, each car park, full security gate, spikes on top. Jeez. Up ahead. Alright, it's beginning. This is this is where we've come for. This is the start of it. How miserable to just be so isolated. No trains, no no major roads, no highways, just fully isolated from the rest of Paris, living in towers like that. No wonder they're kicking riots off, true? Bro, the outside of these flats look burnt. There's like, it's like apartments were on fire and the fire like burst out the windows and burn up the side of the flats and the burn marks are still there. Let's look at this. Bro, what is that? Bro, <laughs> have a look at these things. Ah, there's pigeons living in one of those. Jesus. Let's go in that one. Every car here's like abandoned and burn out. Look. Bro, what is going on here, bro? What is going on here? building that's been burnt out that's what it's like it's like <laughs> it's like every one of these buildings has just been set on fire but people just continue to live in it and the fires look like they were from like years ago Someone, I'm putting the camera straight away. <laughs> I'm putting it away. Looks like this is like a local shop or something. This is smack bang in the middle of it all, this shopping center. Don't ask me why all these shops are closed. It's like the middle of the day. It's legitimately the middle of the day. <laughs> is like this every block is like this you thought it was just that one block <laughs> that's human shit I'm 
curious what these used to be. These are the worst condition flats I have ever been in. It's like there's no attempt anymore. Maybe the floors are swept. Look at the shopping center across the road. What about that? Let's keep going. shit myself then. <laughs> I walked in, I seen like a lounge. I'm like, wait a minute, am I in someone's house? It looks like something that they used to train on. Like chin up bar, dip bar. That'd have been mad. Every hood needs a chin up bar and a dip bar, eh? <laughs> I found some sus back alley, so let's go in it. <laughs> like a back path. This is the worst condition flats I've ever seen. This place is crazy. The whole place smells like human shit, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, oh, this is so steep, I'm gonna fall down it. Oh! Bro. Have a look at this. I want to step on needles or what? Why did I walk here? Why did I just walk here? Am I the only idiot that's walked here in the past year? Yuck, there's like dirty not... <laughs> that's putrid, like... I'm like... My eyes are watering from the smell. I'm like watching if I step on a... Fucking syringe. Why did I walk here? What the hell was I thinking? Oh my god. What the hell was that? Dirty nappies, human shit. That was the worst. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> that was far out. It's like all of those houses were like boarded up. Can't tell if people lived in them or not. Bro. I think these smaller flats seem worse, to be honest. They, oh, the foyer's a little bit better looking than the bigger flats. Necessary. <laughs> I think that was like a dead end. Look at the broken windows on this building. I think they're all the common areas. See all the broken windows around there? Or oh, no, no, no. Some of them are houses. What are you talking about? I can see curtains in them. What the heck? It's a lot more smaller blocks up here. They've all changed color. They might have been built at different stages. 
the larger blocks, remember they were all colored, yellow and the blue, here they're all white. Right in the middle of it, it seems like there's like a brand new block. <laughs> Don't think they'll be getting too much for those apartments. I would have stopped walking down these back passages, eh? At least this one's a lot cleaner. I can't get over the amount of windows that are broken on these things. Like, all right, don't repaint the graffiti. Don't clean up the human shit. You know, don't, don't, don't wash off the burn marks. All right, all right, all right. I understand. <laughs> but don't fix your broken window. Like, that's next level. <laughs> Just kick back with broken windows. Don't worry about it. It's a nice church. Little church smack bang in the middle of it. How mad are those three crosses, eh? Bro, the towers here are huge. They look better maintained, though. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> the two right in front of me look, look decent. Then behind it is like the worst looking one yet. This road separates the two parts of it. That first half over there, let's get the... I heard a bike, but this, did you see that? I just heard a bike bell, look around. There's not a bike in sight, it sounded like it was just next to me. I swear that was on the, I swear I'm not tripping. I'm gonna watch this back. I just heard, ding, I looked around, there's nothing. Wow, bro. These are the big towers. These plain gray ones look from the outside, probably because they're plain, look at that. There's just loads of them, loads of them. The population of this suburb is uh, 28,000. Seems like every single one of them live in these apartments. nice that looks clean inside wonder if it's private oh no stop this is an entrance to one of these ones these bigger blocks I feel like it wouldn't be as bad as the other side still doesn't look great drink the local shop under the block get some chewy as well my little shop, eh? <laughs> Black menthol airwaves. I love airwaves, my favorite chewy. I've never seen this flavor, black menthol. It's just a consistent thing that buildings all look like they've been on fire at some stage. Like every one of these older buildings. Wonder if that's like a local rapper. Relax DKC. Probably is, eh?
Yuck. I'm going to chew it because my breath's bad. It's licorice. <laughs> Strong, but it's licorice. Wow, bro. There's even towers off in the distance. You see that? All right, we're going to get back through that last side, the worst side. Jump back on the bus. Get myself out of here nice and safely. a bit more bougie. So it's, do you see the training equipment? <laughs> hey. The training equipment doesn't work. Little kid comes speaking to me in Arabic. This part here is by far the worst part. Right here where I am. Cars are broken down. Most Half of them look like hotties like for, smashed up the flats half of them look burnt out I'm paranoid just even holding the camera like this we'll go through this one last uh, building before we leave have a look at the doors bro How cool is that? Like, uh, he's, oh, there's some more here. Like photographs of this place back in the day, like in the wall here. That's so cool. What a way to end it with those photos. It makes you think like, look, it's 2023, the riots went off here in the middle of all these flats right right where we're standing the riots were here for three weeks straight the most violent riots against police uh, in Paris for three weeks it went on for so long here that it spread throughout the rest of Paris in 2005 and those are photos that look like from around early 2000s maybe late 90s imagine this place back then it's giving me like goosebumps, you know what I mean? Out on the outskirts of Paris, everyone poor. Everyone poor, most of them immigrants. Probably most of them didn't even speak French at one stage. No highway, no major road to get here. No railway to get here. Like just in the middle of nothing, big flats like that and that's all they got. Would have been a strong community back then. Well, the fact that they were riding against the police like that, which what happened in Redfern. Funnily enough, I think it was the same year in Redfern, what part of Australia, Sydney I'm from, 2005. The riots against the police for the exact same reason. In a police chase, a kid died in Redfern. His name was TJ Hickey. A police chase here, two kids died. They were electrocuted um, and it started riots against the police the same year. That's a, that's a very interesting point. But you, you, you get, you understand from that, I'm not saying it's a great thing, not saying it's a, I'm not advocating at all, you know, like saying anything about it. I'm just saying like, if it represents one thing, it represents a strong sense of community. You can't argue with that. You know what I mean? A lot of us are from communities. You wouldn't even <laughs> say hello to the person next door, let alone hit the streets for three weeks, fighting the police for and putting yourself at risk. Crazy, crazy. I wonder how many of those fire marks that we've walked past are remaining from 2005. And I wonder how different it is here now. I read something that says that they put a lot more money into youth crime prevention here than anywhere else in Paris. I wonder how much it's helped. I see it. Clichy-sous-bois. Clichy-sous-bois. 
What a hood. Wow. We're out in one piece. Let's go.